collectors today will be talking about the legend of Vox Machina, Voxodon. Now, Vox is the brother of his sister, and we can see them on the back. So here we have this figure. He comes with a couple of accessories here. On the side, we have Vax and Critical Role. And on the back, we have this little bit of information about Vax right here. And it is cool to see the full set of figures. I am so happy that season three came out. I would love to get the rest of the figures. Somebody make that happen. So on the side, we have Vax, Prime Video, McFarland Toys, and Critical Role. So on the bottom, we have the UPC code on the top, Critical Role. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, Vox is coming in at 9.0 ounces. So let's get them off the scale and out of the box. Hey, oh, man, damn it. Oh, man. So with all of McFarland Toys boxes artwork, you just simply take your cutting tool slide on the bottom you have one piece of tape and then you can pull it out of our little box very cool and here we have the same kind of background that Kaleth had and all the others just simply take this up pull this out and there you have this nice little background for your figures now we can see that Vax here has a couple of accessories and three pieces of plastic holding him in. If we cut those away, we can just take Vax, pull him here and take his cape, fold it in and we pull it out. And we'll just put him over here. And then we'll take our tape and pull it down to reveal his knives that he has on the show. Well, I can get them out, right? Tape is like blue on there. All right, very cool. Now let me clean up this workstation. There we go, now I've got him out of the box and all the good. Now he does come with three of these knives here. Very cool. And on the back, we can see he has a place to store two of those knives. So you just simply slide those in right there. And we can see up in his cape goes all the way up to the top here. Now Vax is seven inches tall. And his head can look down, not much up, but he can do right and left. He can do almost a T-pose because of this fur-lined cloak he has. He can only do so far. Now, he does have a bicep swivel, double bend in the elbows, wrist on a ball-jointed peg hinge, allows forward and back, side to side, lets it rotate. Now, as far as the waist is concerned... He does have the ability to go forward and back a little bit, but the rubber here in his suit prevents him from staying. Now he can rotate around and pop off of that hinge. Just simply push it back if it does. Do this much of a split. Forward and back. Double bend in the knee. And a ankle on a ball jointed peg hinge. One there, one there. And a two bend. Now, they all come with the stand that says The Legend of Vox Machina. Like all McFarland, they brand the stands, which is very cool. Then you know who they belong to. Now, my version here, the leg is a little twisted. You can see it here. Um, the way to fix this is to put some hot water, dip it in that, and then you can just straighten it out without breaking the plastic but as far as his knives are concerned, you can see here, he can fit it without a problem. Now it's very cool to get these figures. 
Uh, like I said before, I love the series and I'm glad to see season three come out. And the fact that you get this little background here is totally awesome. Okay, so now we see I've once again moved my Dungeons and Dragons characters out of the way. And we have the Vox Machina back there. We have Vex here, Kalith, and I forget his name almost all the time. But I can go ahead and add Vax here you know, on the opposite side. Move Caleb over just a tad, make him more closer to his sister. So very cool. So remember, as always, to like, subscribe, and keep collecting.